Alrighty, so now that we have everything pretty much set up for the most part anyways, we want to go ahead and start working with cross-platform. And what I mean by that specifically is we want to be able to use EOS with Steam. So to sum it up, what we're going to end up doing, I believe I've stated this previously, but we're going to make use of EOS Plus, which is actually kind of the foundation that allows for all this cross-platform play. So on top of that, there's a couple things that we have to do. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is set up EOS Plus in our default engine.ini. Same thing with the online subsystems team. We have to do that as well. Then we have to do some small stuff in our portal, which I'll show you how to do this here in a minute, as well as go ahead and enable the online subsystems team plugin. So starting with the simplest, let's go ahead and launch our project, go to settings, plugins, and search for Steam. Or better yet, search for subsystem Steam. Then you're gonna find online subsystem Steam Go ahead and enable it and close down your editor. Once that's done, we can move on because if you don't do that, otherwise you end up getting a crash every time you have to launch it and it just becomes an overall pain in the butt to deal with. Oops. So let's go ahead and begin. So there's a couple things that you need to do and one of them is in your portal. So if you go to your project or your product, go to your project settings, identity providers, you're not going to have an entry here, but you can see I have an entry for Steam and everything like that. So what you want to do is hit Add Identity Provider, hit the drop down to find Steam. You're going to go ahead and just give it any description that you want, and then you're going to want to give it the encryption key. So this encryption key I unfortunately found literally today, which is why I'm recording this video, because I had actually purchased my own Steam ID just for this series because I could not find the Steam encryption key for the app ID 480, which if you're, if you're unfamiliar with that is Space Wars. It's the default application that is basically public for people to use and test with. So here's the encryption key right here. This will be actually in the description below. So you're gonna to wanna to copy and paste that right into the encryption key slot. And the other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is type in, for the app ID, you're gonna to wanna to do 480. So 480 goes in here. Then just give it a basic description of whatever you want and hit save and exit. Once that's done, you should have this little guy here now set up as an entity or a uh, identity provider and you're good to go. So now we can move on to actually our configuration. So we're going to go to config, default engine.ini, and here we have all the basic stuff that we had before. So if we head over to our online subsystem basically the documentation for it. So if you search for Unreal Engine OSS or online subsystem, you'll be met with this page here and it'll just look something like this. Then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on the EOS online subsystem. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see, you know, EOS online, or sorry, EOS plus plugin settings. Here we have all the stuff related to specifically EOS, which we've already done. And if we scroll down, we'll see EOS plus settings. So we'll scroll down a little bit farther and you can see everything that it actually requires. So we're going to go ahead and copy all of this and paste it at the very bottom like so. Then the only thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and kind of organize this a bit. So I want to put the online subsystem EOS plus with the online subsystem EOS. Then I want to put the, let's see here, the online subsystem. I'm going to move that back on up and replace the one that we currently have, which is set to EOS with the one with EOS plus and Steam. So default platform service equals EOS plus and native platform service equals Steam. Then we have our net driver, which is fine and dandy, and then our regular settings like so. Okay, so that pretty much covers EOS plus. It's very simple. Next up, we're going to move to the online subsystem Steam. So let's click there. And same thing, yada, yada, yada. You really don't need to worry about that as of yet. You'll see the Steam app ID. And then here we have all of the default engine information. So again, if we scroll down a bit to the end result, here's everything that we have to actually include for it. So we're going to, again, copy and paste into our default engine.ini. Here we have, if using sessions, we're going to set B init server on client to true. So I actually want to set this. Uh, I believe this might be the root cause of one of my problems 
uh, it when I was testing previously in another project. So under our online subsystem Steam, we're going to do b init server on client equals true. Then we can delete these comments, which is it actually by a semicolon? And I guess kind of comments it out. Okay, that's nice to know. I did not know that. All right, so now again, we want to clean this up. So online subsystem default platform service equals Steam. We're going to remove it. We have our online subsystem Steam. We're going to copy and paste it right below the online subsystem, yeah, online subsystem EOS Plus. So we have all three right here. Keep them nice and clean. And then we have our net driver. So we're going to go ahead and copy this net driver definition and paste it in our right underneath of our current one, which is for our EOS net driver, like so. And then we can remove it. And then we should be met with something that's fairly clean, just like so. so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the extra lines and save. So I do believe we are pretty much good to go. So the only thing we have to look on now is we want to confirm that our Steam app ID is 480 because that is the encryption key that we're using for in the portal. And I guess we can go ahead and test it. So the first thing you're going to want to do, make sure you have Steam open and you are logged in. Next up, uh, if you recall in a previous video, we actually made a batch file to launch basically our project standalone so we can test with the OS and have the log appear you know, separately, because for testing with EOS Plus and all that kind of stuff in Steam, you have to launch outside of the editor. So you can either do it this way, or you can go back to your view project, right click and hit launch game and do it that way. So I'm going to give a quick rundown again. Basically what this is, is start, whoops, not my bad, start opening and closing commas. Then we have an opening comma, which is the path to our ue4editor.exe. So basically, whichever engine you're using. In my case, it's 4.27 for this series. Then we have, again, space. Then we have an opening and closing comma. And inside, we have the path to our .u project. Then we have the parameters game. Then our resolution for the X and Y. I don't exactly remember what this was. I think this is a window position. And then we want to include dash log or hyphen log at the very end so that we know our log is going to be opened with it. So let's go ahead and launch. And hopefully everything will work. Let's drag this off to the side. Alrighty, on login complete, success one. Here we have the Steam uh, Doomajigger, whatever this is right here. So we can shift tab and view all of our Steam related stuff. As you can see, we're playing Space War because of the app ID. We can press Shift F3, and we can view our epic, our uh, epic overlay. I think is what they call it there as well. So we are able to log in and everything just fine. And if you're getting login failure or something like that, keep in mind that I am using the Dev Authentication, the Dev Auth tool that is provided with the SDK. And again, in a previous video, we have already set this up and set up our online subsystem to make full use of this. So if you do not have this running, go ahead and get it running. There's a video on you know everything what to do, because if you're following with this series, you should honestly know what to do with this at this point. So we now have our online subsystem running through Steam, as well as the Epic, or using the Epic overlay. So that allows us to do some fun stuff. So we can do things like list our Steam friends, as well as our epic friends and all that kind of stuff we can invite people from both and really kind of do whatever we need to so that is going to go ahead and wrap up this video here we just wanted to go ahead and get the base and everything working and set up so we are now good to go if you like what i'm doing and you want to help support me you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons, as well as you get early access to all of my videos, such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that is also linked down below, and I or someone else will try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.